brush and let's start painting. This time, let's do a frog. I am using a transparent gray and I'm gonna draw the frog. Big eyes, big mouth, and I'm gonna place my frog into a cup, but we're gonna see only the top part of the cup. I think this technique that I'm gonna show you how to do, it's very fun. So first I loaded my brush with a very watery red color and then I gently hit my brush with a finger and then the splashes will go everywhere and that is the beauty of this technique, it's the spontaneity, I have no control where the splashes will go. Afterwards with a, uh, a napkin I'm gonna clean the edges. I'm using green, same watery green, and then I'm cleaning the edges, and then yellow, same technique, watery yellow. For this part, you can use only one color if you want, or you can use two colors or different combinations of color. For me, I chose red, yellow, and green. For the next part of the painting, I'm going to use only black and white and I'm going to mix them to get different types of grays. We're gonna start with the background and I'm looking here to get a soft gradient and to get a soft transition from light to dark. This will create contrast in between the frog and the background. And also I'm going to paint the cup in black and white and I'm gonna use again the same technique to create soft transitions and soft edges. I'm filling the rest of the cup with the black and white and this is a good occasion to revisit the contour that I draw in before. And I've noticed here that I need to reposition one of my frog's finger and this is the time to do it. This is the time to think about how the frog will look like. And um, I'm doing right now the last part of the cup uh, and I'm starting with the shade first to make sure that I got my darkest hues and then I'm going to put more white and there you go, the cup is ready. Now I am drawing the eyes, I'm using only black, they don't have to be symmetrical and I'm trying to place a light dot in the middle to make it look mm. actually and here is a um, important thing that I want to tell you I've changed my mind I don't want them to have a bright dot in the middle and in art there are no mistakes it's just different ways to do the same thing that's why I'm going to reshape the eyes and I'm gonna make a smaller dot that I did before after I covered everything with black. And um, I'm going to put some light stroke in the middle of the eye to create a little bit of vibration and I think it looks better than the initial plan. I want to take this opportunity to advise you to create your own vision to put on the paper or on the canvas your own ideas there's no wrong way there's no right way there's no standards there are no rules it's just the way that you feel about that that's why it's okay to change minds that that's why it's okay to redo things sometimes it's okay to take the whole drawing and to do something else on top of it 
because in art there are no limitations and there are no rules and again there are no mistakes okay we move on right now and the next part of my frog is gonna be to cover some of the splashes that I did before with the black and white. Now I have to control where I choose to put the black and the white. That is the beauty of this frog. It has a part where it's very spontaneous and a part that is extremely controlled. And uh, here I'm just going exactly to the effect that I want to go. So that's why I'm going to put darks and I'm going to put brights where I feel that they need to be placed. I'm going to keep only some parts of the splashes. I'm going to cover other parts of the splashes. With uh, grays, I'm covering all this chest part. Now using a blue and an orange pencil, I'm coloring the area around the eyes. And then with, uh, with black, I'm going to put some accents where I feel it needs a little depth. Uh, for example, I want to redefine the area that is in between the mouth and the neck. So I'm placing dark underneath and I want to put light veins around the eyes. So very, very carefully I'm going to draw a few black lines. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. They don't have to be symmetrical. Um, I think it, it creates more personality if they're a little different. So I'm going to go for um, a little bit of uh, dynamics here and I'm um, putting my black dots where I feel that they it needs to be darker underneath the, the mouth and then I'm gonna put few black dots on the hands because I feel that it needs a little bit of darkness And the rest of the painting, it's going to be placing highlights on the elbow. And with this occasion, I want to redefine a little bit the contours and to define the finger, the other elbow. And I want to organize a little bit this gray shape. So with white, um, I'm going to put a little bit of brightness and I'm going to cover some of the colors that I placed before. I'm drawing right now the finger and I want to put these fingers close to each other. So I'm going to do a black contour around them and uh, I'm putting more white on the chest and on top of the head. And um, with the gray, I'm going to work a little bit on the transition in between the white and the black that I put before. I'm going to adjust a little bit the mouth, the head. Basically, I'm going to do light touch-ups everywhere and I'm just doing minor uh, brush strokes. And this is my frog. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to visit my website at mgartgallery.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.